I'm Greg Jarbo. Here we are at uh, Search Engine London at the end of the first day, and I'm speaking with the keynote speaker today, Frederick Marquini. Frederick, good, Hello. good, good to talk to you. So you have a new title, Chief Global Search Officer. But that sort of like covers a multitude of sins. What what is it you really do for your day job? Uh, our team travels around the globe and we launch new iProspect offices. We try to unite all the search practices with one set of best practices and we make acquisitions in different markets where we need strength and hope to grow the search network. So today you were the keynote speaker and you gave a lot of uh, interesting advice. Uh, tell us a couple of the tips that you uh, provided to the audience. Because we're in the UK, I thought the most important thing to cover was SEO because it seems that in Europe and the UK specifically, companies launch into search engine marketing without any consideration of the natural side of the search results where the majority of the clicks always take place. So I thought it was particularly important in the UK to convince the audience that paid search alone does not constitute a search engine marketing program. You really need to be engaged in SEO, press release optimization, social media optimization because it really extends your reach. I think the anecdote that I remember from your speech that was really intriguing was the TV campaign in one of the Scandinavian countries. Yeah, uh, we uh, there was a television ad that ran in Norway, and the competitor noticed an increase in the click-throughs on their organic search results, and they noticed that it was being driven by the TV campaign. So the competitor began a paid search campaign targeting 50 keywords relative to the TV ads, and they generated so much business they had to shut down the campaign within 30 days because they had too many appointments booked and they couldn't take on any more business. And the company that launched the TV ads failed to do search engine marketing at all. And as a result, they gifted thousands of customers to their competitor because they didn't pay attention to the effect that the TV ads had in the search engines. So, uh, last question, Isobar is certainly uh, doing a lot of new things um, in Europe, uh, around the world. Um, give us a sense of what, what, what's coming in the future. We have launched new iProspect offices in Holland, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Spain, uh, all, all over the globe. Uh, recently, the most recent ones were Malaysia, Singapore, and Hong Kong. Uh, we have new iProspect practices being launched or rebranded or acquired. Um, we will have new ones in Asia this year, we will have several new ones in Europe, and we are trying to grow the iProspect brand globally, and the team is making sure that everything works the way it's supposed to and that clients get the same level of result that they would expect from iProspect in the U.S. Now, I, one last thing. In your presentation, you personalized it and you included a couple of photos of your nieces. Now that you're on YouTube, any, you, want, you want to shout out anything uh, to your family? or AJ? Joy, Faith, Osborne, I just want you to know you were in my speech in London today. Thank you for the help. This is Greg Jarbo again at Search Engine Strategies London. It's the end of the first day, but there's more to come uh, tomorrow and Thursday. Thank you very much.